Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to talk about VeChain and Robinhood has actually mentioned VeChain in their newsletter. Now, I don't like the context they mentioned VeChain, but maybe they've actually noticed it and maybe they will actually list it. Remember, VeChain is does actually have utility. It was just mentioned on, uh, you know, like um, a magazine article as being the third best utility token behind Ethereum and Monero. Ethereum is obviously listed everywhere. Monero is not because of federal regulations in a lot of places and because it's a privacy coin. And we know that privacy coins have issues with regulators at times. But Robinhood actually mentioned it in its newsletter. It says in January, Bitcoin made up 70% of total crypto value, which is one trillion. Now it's like 45, I think. Um, Bitcoin now makes up less than 50% of crypto market cap, which is doubled over to two, uh, two trillion. Now smaller coins like Digibyte, VeChain, and SafeMoon are gaining traction. So I don't really like them using it in the same sentence as Digibyte and SafeMoon. Digibyte's okay, actually. It's been around for a while. But SafeMoon's like one of these shit coins that just came up. And the, But the Fed just warned that asset prices are vulnerable to significant declines in investment sentiment shifts. That's true for any market and any coin. It's possible that out of, seven, uh, that out of hundreds of coins, only a few might survive over time. That's true. And I think SafeMoon's going to die. Digibyte, I'm not really sure. I do think VeChain is actually going to survive. But at least they are aware of VeChain. And the thing is, like, if they can they can list Dogecoin, if they started with Dogecoin, there's no reason for them to list VET. You can't, like, list Dogecoin on your platform and saying that, uh, saying that small, like, talking about smaller altcoins that are very, very uh, volatile to market fluctuations. Because Dogecoin, as we can see, is very, very vulnerable to market fluctuations and very, very vulnerable to Elon Musk. VeChain actually does have a use case. It has partnerships, it has industrial uses. I'm not really sure if Robinhood actually looked into that, but if they mention it in this article, maybe in the future they'll actually look into that. I think actually a listing on Robinhood is actually um, bigger than a Coinbase listing because that actually, I think that will actually open up access to even more traders. And plus, like I said, like it has Dogecoin, so why wouldn't it list another coin? I mean, it's not like, um, it's not like, I don't think regulatory concerns are a huge thing. If like exchanges are listing like, you know, like Dogecoin, Binance just listed like Shiba Inu. I, you know, like in the regulatory environment of right now, and like, you know, Ethereum's not, um, Coinbase is not that much better. It keeps on listing all these ERC20 crap coins. So they're really not all that much better at all. So hopefully Robinhood will actually look at it and they'll actually list like VET. Now, you know, the thing is, like, some people are like, yeah, I don't want it to be listed alongside SafeMoon. I honestly don't care what they listed alongside as, as long as they list it, because that will actually open up um, the platform to more investors, and VeChain can get a lot of money. And I think VeChain investing uh, investors actually can have a more holding power, because they can actually see the project take place. They can see the project, like, kind of, like, take form, and they can take see the project develop on real partnerships and utility, and not just, like, a fun meme coin they can actually FOMO into. So... Here's to hoping that Robinhood actually lists VeChain sometime. They didn't mention it in their newsletter, so they are aware that VeChain is out there. So not good news, not bad news, but gives me some hope that Robinhood might uh, list VeChain sometime in the future. We can only hope. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.